It's Tony Fortunato from the technology firm. I was at a client site the other day and um, they had this uh, circuit that keeps giving them a problem. It's a DSL line and they've always just rebooted the box and don't quite know why that clears the problem. So while I was there they asked me if I could take a peek with the protocol analyzer see if there's any clues as to what's going on. So here we are. We've got the trace. This is um, that problem in action and what I noticed was in this case it's a, it's a mail packet, SMTP, outgoing mail and you can see a 1506 byte packet uh, it's having a bit of a problem and there's some retransmissions and then uh, the sender uh, will step down and and go to 590 for all sorts of reasons but that's not relevant right now but you can see that it's having a hard time sending big packets now fortunately this customer had a second DSL line to the exact same carrier but just a physically different modem and a physical different circuit so that's what I used here as a comparison and we can see the big packets are going through no problem. So I asked them again what they do at this point and they just said simply reboot this modem and that's what they did. So then we did another trace afterwards and you can see that it's working just fine. So upon per further inspection uh, I noticed that the DSL modems were the same physical hardware and the same model and make uh, but the uh, firmware in the modems were slightly different so this one, the one having the problem, uh, had an older firmware than the one that worked. So I've asked them to go ahead and, and call the uh, carrier or manufacturer of the modem and get that firmware upgraded and see if that alleviates the problem. But the point of this exercise is now we were able to document the actual problem. So when they do decide to update that firmware and if the problem should return, they could find out if it is the same problem indeed. So that's it. Have a good day. Bye for now.